Hi, my name's Lane. I'm with On Final Paragliding, and today we're checking out the new Swing Agara. First C Wing to feature the new RAFS technology. Okay, now if you look at the length of the wing in the center there, you'll see that partition splits the wing in half. And watch this on inflation, you'll see it takes an extra quarter to half second for it to become fully pressurized. And that delay kind of just dissipates the energy that gets built up so the wing doesn't overfly you. I'll show you what I mean right now. We got 12 to 15 coming straight in. So the wing, as you can see, launches very easily. It's got very direct feedback and handles very, very much precisely. Okay, I'm on the Swing Agara. Conditions are a little little turbulent so we're really seeing how this RAS system handles and so far it's it, it surprised me it's extremely pitch stable and I was surprised by that because not typically what you expect on a on a wing that flies like a two-liner I have taken a a couple frontals on it and I've been pleasantly surprised with how how you're still able to maintain control like your your brakes keep pressure it's great you can still fly the wing and when any mishaps occur I think the most important thing is that we maintain a, a safe heading or it's hard to say anything's the most important but to me it's certainly one of them okay wow we just hit some some turbulence there. That was a little unsettling, but the wing, the wing definitely gave me some good feedback and just made the right inputs, and we were good to go. Okay, we're in a pretty nice thermal right now, and she is doing just fine. I, I love having this sea bridge up here. It really allows you to get on bar and cover some ground, but. I'm going to avoid getting on bar right now just because my vario is singing to me so well. But really, really nice pitch control using the rear end of the sea bridge and nice turning using this outer, just small minor corrections and you get really good feedback just letting, uh, letting a finger or two just hang from right here. I studied the results of all the major competitions, all the FAI sanctioned comps. And I have not yet seen the Swing Agara on the list of results, on the list of finishers. So it's looking like I may have the opportunity to be the first one to compete in an FAI competition this spring at uh, Applegate. We'll just have to see how this thing performs alongside some of these hotter wings like uh, some of these other two-liners out there. It's a bit of a windy day. Winds are 8 to 12, gusts to 15, but definitely expecting things to possibly reach 18 or even 20 a little later today. So planning on launching and pushing out and uh, seeing how this thing performs. Uh, it will be slightly thermic out there. There's cumulus clouds that are pretty abundant. Nothing's going too tall though, so stability is about moderate. But let's get out there and see how this thing performs. <laughs> well, it's been a little bumpy, which uh, you know makes these thermals pretty hard to stay in. But the Agar is doing a. a decent job of uh, I find it really pitch stable 
Yeah, I just hit a really strong thermal going up between three to four meters per second. Oh, still in it. And uh, the, the wing has handled it really well. Okay, we're in a good one now. Yeah, I've been impressed. It is, it is windy and it is thermic. So this is quite the day to test a, a high-end sea. Okay, now we're going to do some steering with the uh, rear risers using the sea bridge. So just a little pressure on the front end helps make a nice mellow course correction. Little rear of the sea bridge helps add some stability. And I like, you know, that just keep my index finger in the middle just allows me to really get some, some unique feedback. I can slide my finger back and forth and really feel what the winds, uh, what the wing is doing. Here's my opinion on the Agara. I love, I like the way it handles. It's, it's precise and direct. It's, uh, it's a pretty twitchy at the wingtips. I took a fair amount of uh, tip folds, but you know what, it's kind of nice to absorb that impact instead of uh, risking entering a, um, a spin or a, a spiral or something like that. So it is pretty soft on the edges. It's very surprisingly pitch stable in the core. And then with any sort of frontals, like I felt very comfortable being on bar with that RAS system, just as an additional mitigation, you know, if you were to take a whack. And I did take a couple whacks and, uh, you know, the, the wing never lost pressure like in the brake handles. Okay, here's the verdict. There's been several things that have impressed me with this wing and a couple other areas less so. So first off, I've been really impressed with the glide of this wing and it's really noticeable when you're setting up your approach to land and it looks like you have to throw in another S turn or you just might overshoot the LZ. I've been flying the small medium with a recommended weight range of 90 to 100 kilograms and I try to put myself in about the middle. Uh, the wing also has an aspect ratio of 6.3, which is relatively high. I'd say slightly above average for a C wing. Uh, the trim speed has also been impressive. It's got a trim speed of 40 kilometers an hour with a max speed on full bar of 55. One small detail where I see some room for improvement is the lines themselves. The lines are unsheathed, but they're rather thick for unsheathed lines. You know, I've flown wings with unsheathed lines in the past and, and the lines were half as thick as these ones. And there's certainly trade-offs with the thickness of the lines. Where I typically fly in the Inner Mountain West, I find myself on a lot of primitive launches. You know, just totally uncleared, a lot of sticks, some brush here and there. And it is nice having thicker lines in those cases. I could really see the trim speed uh, being improved if, if the lines were to be a little bit less thick. But I have to say what I found that has really stood out to me with flying this wing is this RAST system. There's really something to it. I was initially skeptical. I, you know, I found myself in some really, really rough air on a couple different occasions. One time I was actually setting up my approach to land and I was, I was maybe 30 or 40 feet up when I took a complete frontal and despite like losing pressure in the front half of the wing, I was still able to fly it and steer it exactly how I wanted to because the trailing edge retained pressure. So those brakes were working just fine. And then 10 feet up, the wing reinflated, boom, came in nice and soft. Now, I certainly don't want to create this impression that it would uh, enable us to take on more risk. I definitely don't want to go there. This is just another feature that helps keep that wing over our heads. So that wraps up the review for the Swing Agera. The ultimate test will be coming up real soon when I get to fly it in the Applegate Open. <laughs>